baby, if I hurry, I can still make Cheyenne. That's George Strait singing I Can Still Make Cheyenne, and I chose that song for a reason. Do you know? Well, let's just say that the next time you see George Strait singing that song, look for tears. He didn't just suffer one devastating loss, he suffered two in a matter of hours. I'm Billy Dukes, and thank you for returning for this video about George Strait's roller coaster of a month. I say roller coaster because he did experience some sort of high, but it really sort of flails in comparison to these deep, dark lows. Subscribers know this channel pays close attention to the legends, and we always do them right. Find links to more George Strait videos below and start a conversation about his best song in the comments section. I've always been a pretty big fan of I Got a Car, partially because I literally drove my wife to the hospital to have our second son, and this song came on the radio. That was about nine years ago. The first loss in George Strait's life came on the morning of March 20th. Irv Wolseley, his manager for 45 years, died after complications from surgery. He was, quote, most importantly my friend, George Shares. He was a very tough man and fought hard, but sadly it was just too much. Gosh, that's hard. The way that George met Irv is kind of classic. Irv and his wife at the time, Connie, owned a club called the Prairie Rose in San Marcos, Texas in the 70s. They booked George Strait and really liked him, so they kept booking him again and again and again. Remember, the early 80s were like peak urban cowboy, so getting George Strait signed to a record deal, that was a really big challenge. But George was given a single deal with MCA Nashville, as in one single. He had literally one song, one shot to make it or break it for a career. Oh boy. Obviously, he hit that shot with this song. Well, I'm on a beat, the drunkest food. Town. Irv wasn't just George's manager, however. He was also instrumental in the promotion departments at several record labels during the 1970s and 80s. Ronnie Millsap, Dirk Bentley, Leanne Womack, and Clay Walker were just a few more artists he worked with, and really up until recently, he was helping and signing new artists like Ian Munsick and Tyler Halverson. Quote, We will miss him so very much, and we'll never forget all the time we had together. Won't ever be the same without him. George barely finished hitting send on that message to fans when another longtime friend died. Gene Elders, who played fiddle and mandolin for George since 1984, died just a few hours after Irv did. All of our prayers go to both families. Me and the band won't ever be the same without our brother Gene. We love him so much. Go play with Mike again, Gino. We will come join you guys later. Mike is drummer Mike Kennedy, who died in a car accident in 2018. The heartbeat of our band is gone, George said at the time. He was just 59 years old. I mentioned George did have something to celebrate this month, and he does. He'll play a homecoming show of sorts at Kyle Field in College Station, Texas on June 15th. It's his only Texas show this year, and he's invited Parker McCollum to join him. Chris Stapleton and Little Big Town will join him for some other stadium shows across the country. But at age 71, he stayed pretty true to his promise not to fully tour again. We do have reason to believe that he's going to release a new album this year, however. Last summer, guitarist Brent Mason shared a photograph of him with George and Chris Stapleton. Could a George Strait, Chris Stapleton duet be coming? I'm here for it. Finally, the answer to why I played this song. But it's alright, baby, if I hurry, I can still make Cheyenne. I Can Still Make Cheyenne was a top five hit in 1996 for George Strait. You can find it on the Blue Clear Sky album. It was written by Aaron Barker, who also co-wrote the song Love Without End, Amen, and Irv Wolseley. Yeah, Irv was not only a manager, an entrepreneur, a record label executive, but he was also a hit country songwriter. That's one hell of a life lived. Irv leaves behind one son, Clint, an ex-wife, and several extended family members. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for joining.